Team Canada has had a lot of success at Paralympics. Um, we are the only country that has been on the podium at every Paralympics since it started. So I was not on the team that went to Torino where they won gold, but then I was on the team in Vancouver for gold, in Sochi for gold, and then again in Pyeongchang with a bronze. We're a hard-working team. Uh, we come from a country where curling is all around us. There's lots of people to help you. So I think probably as a nation, we've had the most support through it. And we have people that are just really, really dedicated. So we work hard and it shows. Curling has taken on quite a large part of my life, which I didn't really expect. I got into curling because I was shopping and a guy came up to me and asked if I would like to try wheelchair curling. And that was right when my youngest son was going into kindergarten. So I had afternoons when he was in school and I thought, well, sure, I'll go and try that for an afternoon. Sounds like it will fill one. And um, yeah, it just grew and grew and grew from that. And it's a lot of afternoons playing curling now. <laughs> As you learn the game and understand more of it, it takes on a whole different feeling because now you understand things, you're building on things, you're working on things. So yeah, it becomes a really interesting dynamic sport. A lot of athletes maybe peak in their 20s. Are you peaking? <laughs> I think that's not curlers. <laughs> I think after every quad, you have to decide whether you still have the passion and the desire and the time and energy to continue on. So after this games is over, and not right now, um, I will have to reassess and see whether four years seems doable or not.